Step, step, step. Oh, hey there. You should probably hit that. Oh, and you definitely ring-a-ding that. Mars! Mars, what did I say about leaving drawings on my desk? They go on the fridge. Mars? My fucking god, it's 6 a.m. That explains why it's daylight outside. Does not explain the drawing. That was not there before. <sighs> Maybe I should tell him. You know, just drop the news on him. Hey, uh, Mr. Afton, I know you're busy and I know there's a lot of deals coming around since it's about the, you know, time for uh, yearly earnings. But, uh, hey, if you don't mind, I, I know it's not a big deal. I, I may have found your son. Uh, he may even be in town. Uh, <laughs> turns out security cameras can go a long way as long as you bribe a bunch of police. God, it makes me feel sick. Am I a bad person? No, 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 John. Bad people wouldn't care about their actions. Can bad people care about their actions? Maybe I'm thinking of narcissistic people. Am I narcissistic? Well, I am the best at what I do. I'm handsome as hell, and I have a voice anyone would kill for. My life's perfect, and... Yeah, well, I'm not narcissistic. Well, at least I'm not that... Someone needs to water that plant. <clears throat> Hello? Is is anyone there? Is that my is that my coffee? Uh no, sir, it's just me. Can I come in? Oh, it's you, John. Yes, my boy. Yes. You're always out here. Um although if you don't mind me asking, son, it's six AM. You're not supposed to be in work for another two hours. Oh, um, I sort of never left. What? Son, you, you've you been here? My God, we get off at eight. You've, you've been here for like over eight hours? I mean, you've been here for like 16? If I had to like really count, sir, I've probably been in this office. Maybe the third, 36. Do you, do you sleep, John? Do, do you actually sleep? I, I don't ever think I've seen you sleep. I, I actually do sleep, sir. I, I sleep in the uh, spare office. Do you mean the closet? Well, I, I, I wouldn't classify it as a closet, but yeah. Um, I, I'd call it a spare office, but if you want to call it a closet, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. <clears throat> so, um... I, I, listen, son, I know that, um, it's almost the end of the year, and the reports are coming in for yearly salary, and I know we have a lot to do with, you know, taking that 15% from everyone this month, because everyone's gonna be a little stingy, but, um, I don't understand why you've stayed. Listen, if you want to put in some overtime, go ahead, but, you know, you really don't have to be working this hard anymore. You have assistance for that. <laughs> right, um, i just been trying to, um, well, I guess bring myself to, uh, to tell you something, sir. Oh, you're quitting. Oh, God, no, sir. <laughs> I, I, I would never do that. Oh, I know, my boy, I was just pulling your leg. So, what did you find out? What, you go on a date or something and you're so frazzled you tried to work it off? Uh, no, no, sir. Really, I heard someone say you were with someone at your restaurant. Good use of it, my boy. That's where I took my wife for our first date. <laughs> no, sir, I, I wasn't on a date. But you were with someone, right? Yes, sir. And you were eating dinner with them? Yes. And you invited them there. Yes. I call that a uh, dinner date. <laughs> uh, it was actually just uh, Jeremy. Oh, you were taking Jeremy out. Hmm. I guess you mended that bridge, huh, my boy? Took my advice. Hmm. 
It shows a strong man to admit when he's wrong, and especially a better man to have the patience to deal with others. Now, I may not like that, Jeremy Champ, but he has money. And where money follows, more opportunity grows. Of course. So, um, well, so you made up, you made up with him, you've been talking. Well, why have you been here so late? Doing paperwork? This is very hard for me, sir. Uh, I hope you understand. Uh, I'm not very good when it comes to um, expressing the, these type of things, but um, I paid off some policemen. You did? What, why the hell would you do that? Uh, getting to that, I found some people who would pull a few strings to have their security cameras look for the face of your son did they find anything they did they found my boy my my son they they, they find they found michael he's um in town actually he's here he came back he, he wants to see me I, I, I don't know about that, sir. Remember when we found that guy, that homeless man, he, he definitely was going somewhere else, running city to city. I mean, does he even know about this place? Well, of course he does. Maybe it wasn't as big when he saw it, but of course he knows the location. My number hasn't changed since he was little. Hmm. Well, sir, they caught this glimpse of him. You... No, that can't be him. He looks as... Well, he looks just as bad as I do. You know, he's... He's only 40. Maybe 46. He looks like an old man. Looks like my father. Uh, sorry, sir. It's... Quite all right. We all make our own decisions at the end of the day, John. Michael's made his and I've made mine. We've all come to accept that. So, he was seen here. Well, he was seen in the city. So, he can be found and detained? It costs a little bit of money. How much? Depends on how many eyes you want in the city and how many patrolmen you want. You have an amount. Ten grand a head. Ten grand? Well, I definitely can't write that off on company money. It'll have to come out of... Well, yeah. I'll do it. You sure? It's my son. I'll do anything to find him. I don't think he'll appreciate you having him detained. Oh, I know it may be too late for me to begin to be the father he needed for any of the kids that I had. But if I can try to give him a better life, to put him on a track like I put you on, don't you think he deserves that? Don't you think everyone deserves a second chance? Yes, sir. Then have it done. Write the personal checks out of my book. And John... Uh, y yes, sir. Good work. Y yes, sir. And go get some damn sleep. I don't need you passing out on me. Y yes, sir. I'll go home right now. <sighs> that was stressful. Oh, yes, I... Oh, yeah, don't worry. I found your son. Oh, it's fine. He's just homeless living on the streets. And just a reminder of how you probably failed as a dad. Uh, I know, I know. It's it's not a big deal. Oh, also, uh, yearly reports are coming in. And we've actually lost money. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to go with the board. But uh, definitely need to tie down on that 15% thing. Because if we don't, we're definitely going to be in the negatives this year. Oh, and another thing. If you're writing personal expenses... 
to the police. How are we going to explain that to the IRS? Oh, it, it will be fine. I'll, I'll fix the books. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's always fine as long as it happens for Mr. Afton. You know, when I talk to myself, it makes me feel a little crazy. You know, when you talk to yourself, it has a certain mystique to it. <laughs> hey, hey, Elliot, how you doing? Um, I, I'm good. I'm kind of here just to see Mr. Afton. Um, do you know if he's, um, available? Um, he seemed free. I, I know he just got in. Uh, Elliot, I don't, I don't see you here very much anymore. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that, John. I'll get out as soon as I can. No, um, Elliot, it's fine. No, I'll, I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave as soon as I can. Uh, Elliot, I'm, uh, I'm not... No, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I, I don't want to embarrass you. Yeah. Or the, or the company. Okay. Mr. Afton's up there. Um, what what do you want to talk to him about, at least? The, um, glam rock anima, animatronics. What about the glam rock animatronics? Well, we'll see. I, I kind of dropped them off. You know, had them delivered to, to Saturn Mall. And, you know, their AIs never got fixed. And I, you know, personally, I guess I could try to code something to fix them, but I'm just afraid if Montgomery Gators are on the wrong people, or even Glamrock Freddy, my god, um, they may, um, exhibit behavior that is not suitable for children. You let two animatronics in my restaurant that could be a danger to children? N no. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> I know you're disappointed. I'll, I'll fix it. Don't worry. I'm just going to go talk to Mr. Afton and I'll, I'll get it fixed. Don't worry. Uh, John, I'll, I'll be out of your hair soon. It's fine, Elliot. You just look aggravated and tired. Well, I haven't slept in two days. What? Ugh. The sun's too bright for this shit. Saturn them all. Well, it is closer than my home. And I won't have to get my car out of the parking garage. Make room, Montgomery Gator and Glamrock Freddy. Looks like we're gonna have a little sleepover. Well, can it really be considered a sleepover if I'm not... Well, if it's not night? <sighs> Why do I care? Why do I care, John? Why do I care? It's fine. It's fine. 